Hey what's up guys it's Banu here from Android.com this is the OnePlus 7 Pro that we already went ahead and unboxed in the channel in case if you guys didn't check out that video there's a link down below in the description so in this video I'm going to be going over the entire initial setup process of the OnePlus 7 Pro and show you all the settings that are available when you set up your brand new phone. So if you guys are excited for this, definitely go ahead and smash the like button, hit on that subscribe button and let's get started with today's video. Alright, so this is the OnePlus 7 Pro and when you power on your device for the very first time, this is the screen that you will see. It will say hi there and it will let you select the language as always. So here I'm going to go with English United States but it's up to you to pick whatever language you want. And if you want emergency uh, to make an emergency call, you can do that from here as well. And there are vision settings that you can change here such as the font size, the display size, the magnification and you can even enable talkback if you want directly from the first screen of the setup. So that's great. So I'll go ahead and hit on start now and here we have some terms and conditions. So I will go ahead and agree to all of that and also I have to, uh, I can uh, go ahead and enter the user experience program if I want or else I can skip it. I will uh, join that and also the system stability program is there so I will enable that as well and next we have the push notifications so uh, oneplus will send surveys and other stuff if you are not interested with that you can go ahead and press no thanks and then uh, it will let you in, um, put in your sim card but if you don't want to do that like right now I don't want to do that so I'm going to skip that and next it will search for all of your Wi-Fi networks and it will let you connect to the network. So I can see all the networks from here and I can quickly connect to whatever Wi-Fi network I want. So just like that now I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network and now the device is checking for updates. So this will actually take a few minutes and if it finds any updates it will go ahead and install these updates. So you gotta wait a little bit for this to finish and once that's done it'll actually let you copy your apps and data from your previous uh, phone or your pre google account so you can do that but in this case i'm not going to do that so i'm going to go ahead and hit on don't copy and now it will actually check all the information and let you log into your google account from here so just like that i have now signed in to my google account on my oneplus 7 pro and now it's gathering all the account information and now i can accept to all the agreements and then we come to the interesting part and that is setting up the in display fingerprint scanner on the oneplus 7 so here it will show you how to do all of this and i can go ahead and hit on next first i need to set a backup pin code so in this case i will enter four zeros just like that and now it's time for the fingerprint setup so the in display fingerprint scan on the oneplus 7 is actually placed down below over here so i just have to go ahead and place my uh, finger just like this and as i place it it will actually animate the area that is actually getting registered on screen over here so now the basic part is done now i have to register the edges of the finger so just like this i'm just slowly putting in the edges so that the device is able to get the complete fingerprint for faster unlocking so now that is done i can press next and now it will go into the next screen and that is enabling the google assistant so i will go ahead and agree to all of this as well and now your assist it says your assistant is all set up so now i can actually go ahead and add google pay if i want but i'm gonna skip that for now and if i want i can add uh, another fingerprint change the font size change the wallpaper or add another email account if i want but i'm gonna skip that for now and now the device is adding the finishing touches so it's actually 
uh, showing me some off-screen gestures right here before finalizing the setup so I can actually enable gestures like drawing the V to turn on or off the flashlight which I have actually shown off in some of the OnePlus tips videos that I've made in the past in case you guys haven't checked those out definitely go ahead and check them out for sure you can get some awesome tips for your OnePlus device from there so anyway you can double tap to wake the screen if you want that's a cool thing to have and also you can draw or O to open up the camera or you can uh, draw two with uh, with two fingers to uh, control your music but i'm not gonna do that here i'm gonna skip that and then we come to the screen calibration options so here there are three options that is vivid natural and advanced so here there is a uh, slider with some of the images and you can see how each mode actually changes with the advanced mode you can actually change up the display to the way that you want if you want the display warmer or colder but i'm actually going to go with vivid colors because i personally prefer the vivid colors so i'm going to go with that and next we have the font selection so there are actually two fonts to for you to pick from here the one plus slate which is recommended or the roboto font font so i'm actually going to go with the one plus slate font and it's actually changing it up to that so now i'm gonna hit next and just like that now we are in the oneplus 7 pro so the hype about the oneplus 7 pro is mainly this all screen design so let me quickly go into the settings of this device and show you that this is indeed the oneplus 7 pro and it is running android 9.5 so this was this device that I have over here has 6 gigabytes of RAM along with 128 gigabytes of internal storage and this device that I have over here which I also unboxed in my unboxing video has uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM along with 256 gigabytes of internal storage. So definitely check out both of these uh, the unboxing video so that you can experience both of these devices and get a very good understanding about the price and what these devices have to offer so in this video i just want to go through the initial setup of the oneplus 7 for you and also let me quickly show you that pop-up camera as well so if i go ahead and open up the camera like this this is the rear facing camera but if i go ahead and hit on this there comes the pop-up camera so that's pretty awesome every time I hit on this it comes up and uh, there is a motor noise for that as well pretty awesome uh, definitely uh, gonna use this to get the maximum out of this and out of the box there is also a software update that is available I just noticed this so definitely be sure to install all of the software updates that are actually available for your device and also definitely go ahead and install all the Play Store updates as well and install whatever applications that you want. The OnePlus 7 is a really fast device so hopefully you can make the maximum out of this device by configuring it just the way you want. So let me know if you have any other video requests featuring the OnePlus 7. We have a lot to talk about with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, I'm actually interested in knowing what your opinion is about these two devices. Uh, let me know by dropping a comment down below and if you have any video suggestions definitely let me know and I'll surely make that happen. Well guys that's the setup process of the OnePlus 7 Pro. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did definitely go ahead and smash the like button and hit on the subscribe button right now for more awesome tech videos just like this in the future. Follow me on social media. I am at Android Order. All the links are given down below in the description. And stay tuned to AndroidOrder.com for all the latest from the tech world. Until I see you guys in my next video. This is Ban. Signing off.